Hello and welcome to my fifth video in my recovery mechanics series. Thanks so much for the support in my latest video where we went over wall dashes. But without further ado, let's get started on the subject of this video, zap dashes. What is a zap dash? A zap dash is a mechanic that can speed you up after pretty much any landing. Popularized by a Zapdos in his show matches on Johnny Boy's channel, it's since become a hallmark for mechanical players. You'll find it difficult, but if made consistent, it'll push your outplay potential to the next level. For this tutorial, I'll mainly be showing examples of speed flips into zap dashes. While this may be the main setup we see for zap dashes, just know that you can do zap dashes off of any landing. First step, we'll be speed flipping with the intention of landing with the nose facing down. Higher level players are going to pull this off with just a slight lean, but don't sweat it too much for now. The second step is jumping as your two front wheels are touching the ground. Doing so should pop your nose up. If this happens, all you have to do is pull up on the analog stick and wave dash into the ground. Sometimes you'll have your car pop up diagonally. This isn't the end of the world because you can still do a wave dash into that diagonal angle. If you don't know how to speed flip or you just want to practice step two, you can just jump, lean your car down like this, and again, jump when your two front wheels are hitting the ground. Now where and when should I be using the zap dash? One of the most useful situations I've seen the zap dash used is after kickoffs when you have low boost. Getting just a little bit of extra momentum could be the difference that allows you to reach a ball or boost first. The other situation I use the zap dash is when moving around the field on low boost. I've had multiple situations where I'm able to save a ball because I was able to incorporate the zap dash into my recovery. There's not a lot of ways to mess up the zap dash, but the biggest one is just poor timing. Spamming the zap dash in free play is probably your best bet to improve timing for it. You could also practice doing them utilizing slow-mo, since it would technically give you more time to see that sweet spot for your empty jump. And that's it for this video. If you're looking for tutorials on other recovery mechanics, then check out some of my other recent uploads. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers, so I'm going to be celebrating by working on a speed flip tutorial to add to this series. I hope you'll look forward to it. And again, thank you for watching. Peace.